Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on the E300 mini bike project. I'm sure most of you are familiar with what a Razor E300 looks like. Basically this, minus everything that I cut off. Um, these are the wheels. They're pretty dinky. We already decided we were gonna get rid of those because we have something better. Oh yeah. We're gonna use mini bike wheels. Of course, it's gonna take a lot of modifying and probably some welding. Actually, you can see I already went through, I tested the welder. I welded up all the little mounting holes here, sprayed it with a little bit of black paint. But now we can uh, take a look at some of my designs. I came up with a few of turning it into like a, you know, cause if the wheel is mounted in the middle here, you have to have a hump here anyway, just like the stock razor. I considered making the hump a seat with a few different designs. But overall, with this kind of scooter, you really want all the weight low. You want to keep it low, which unfortunately I think is going to mean raising the whole scooter on the wheels. Um, so this is the design that I'm going to come up with for the back. It's a little hard to see. But basically, this is the stock tube in this area. And then we're going to add some metal here and space the axle down. So it'll still protrude above the top, but not as much. It'll raise the scooter up, but give us a lot of room under it to put the motor, batteries, controller, everything else. And I did get some metal this is 11 gauge, not as quite as thick as I would like, um, but I might double it up a little bit in some areas. Um, I'm gonna cut some of this out for a few pieces I need. Fortunately, the tube steel, we're gonna have to wait a few more weeks for.
All right, guys, so you just saw me cut up that piece of metal. And basically what we're trying to do is make a little extension like that. And so this is what I have right now. Two pieces screwed together, so I make them identical. And this is going to go somewhere like that. We just have to figure out how much we have to stretch the frame to fit the wheel, as well as there's going to be a brake rotor on one side and a drive sprocket on the other side that has to clear some of this metal. So we're not going to know that until we get the drive sprocket in and the brake and get them all fitted up. We're probably not going to be able to use these holes because I've heard they're M6 with a stupid thread. Um, so I'm probably just going to drill new holes and thread them for a normal M6. I did get these wheels from Go Power Sports. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid my own money. Um, and while they were packaged well, it does appear that all four bearings are completely seized. So I don't know if they have a storage issue or a supply issue or what, but all the bearings are seized. So I, I sprayed them with penetrating lubricant. We'll see if it goes anywhere. Let's see if we can just get a look. Man, that thing looks nice. Now again, I wish we could have it there, but especially with the front fork, there's really no additional room to fit this wheel. So I'm gonna to have to space it down just like the back wheel and then probably forward some too. So if I kept the back wheel at this height, I would have to space that front wheel out probably at least four inches or so. And I'm just trying to avoid doing that. So current design is we have to move that wheel mounting point down about three inches. All right, guys, we're going to end it here because it's starting to get long. But I made these two plates, which next time we should be able to at least weld on there to the bottom. Space that axle out. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time.